Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today it's Tip Tuesday. So today I'm going to show you a couple of tips on how to make very simple shawl pins. What you're going to need for this project are your tools. I'm using 16 gauge wire. This is from Michaels. It's nice and stiff. That's for the base. I have 20 gauge wire as well. I'm using a round pill bottle for the form of the circle, a cone, and I have a variety of beads from four millimeter to six millimeter. So to do a very easy beaded shawl pin, you could just take about a six inch piece of wire and you'll need to make a little loop on the end just so it'll uh, make an attachment and you won't lose your beads as you go. So just make a little loop kind of like that and then wind it around your round form just to get it started. And the size is just a matter of taste, depends on how big you want it. And this is our sort of our round shape. And from there you take your beads and just bead around the circle. I sometimes like to do sort of a set of three beads and then uh, in between the three beads I like to put a little metal spacer bead so you can do a pattern or just randomly. So once you bead it all the way around just take your small pliers and bend this at a bit of a right angle and then you can trim it because it's going to probably be too long and from there you can take your round form if you need to shape it a little more. If not, you can just go ahead and take this end and put it into that little loop here. And what you want to do is just finish the edge. So take your pliers and take this and just bend it around to complete the loop. Now, if you think your wire is going to come undone, you can wind it around a couple of times, but if your wire is stiff enough, it should be fine just to cut it quite flush in there. And then you're going to take your flat pliers and push the end in so it's not sticking out. So it's going to be nice and snugly in there. And then if you need more shaping, you can take it and put it on your round form and shape it around so it's in a circle. So to make the pin, we're going to take, again, about half a foot of wire. You want to cut the end straight, really flush. You can file the end too if you want. And then what we're going to do is just measure how big we want it. You're going to have the pin sticking out a little bit at the end. What I like to do is do a little jog in the middle so it won't like slide out of the shawl. So what I'll do is I'll measure to almost the center there. You can trim it after. And I just do like a little kind of a jog, like a little V type thing. It's going to be hidden anyways in this in the scarf. It's just to show you like like just to hold it in place. So it's going to have a little jog. And then from here, imagine where you want the other end of the pin. And you can either just do a little loop or if you want to make it a little bit fancy, we can just do like kind of a spiral thing. So bend it up and take your cone shape, or it could just be a round shape if you don't have the cone form. So wind it around a few times. We're making a spiral. I have a few tutorials on how to make spirals. So we just have the start like that and then clip the end flush wherever you want it. Clip it and then take your round pliers and I like to hold the end with the round pliers and then work my way in. This is quite a stiff wire. It's actually a good wire to use because it won't bend out of shape. And just with the flick of the wrist, you bring it in like that and then you can flatten it down a little bit. Now, if you need to adjust it a little bit, just take your pliers and adjust it how you want. So that would be your spiral for your pin. And then I actually don't have a scarf, so I'm going to use a leg warmer and just stick the pin here. And then what you would do is stick this into the wool here and then, you know, however much you want to pull up with the 
with the um, pin is fine. And then you can just kind of wiggle it around, wiggle it around in there. And there you have your cute little shawl pin. So for another simple design, it's actually similar to the ring I made last week for the Lariat video. So just take a longer piece of wire and wind it around your form. You can wind it around once or twice. So we'll just wind it around here. Depending on how thick you want it, you could just do it once or you can do it twice. So say we just do it once because it is a thick wire. And then all you need to do is just take the end and wind it around. And this will do a couple of things. It'll give it a nice little kind of texture and also it'll secure the um, ring in place. So just go around, around and around. It makes a nice little, little wave around the outside. And then this one on the other side, you can also do the same. You can work your way around this way and then when you get towards one end just bring this around and you want to cut it flush so just bring it all the way around in here cut it and you really want to make sure it's flush because you don't want it scratching or getting tangled up in the wool so make sure it's not scratchy and then we're just going to finish this side bring it around here and the same thing. So just until those ends kind of meet. So then we're going to cut it in there quite flush. And same thing, push it in so it's not sharp. So we'll form the pin like we did the first one. So have it like overlap a little bit, maybe a quarter inch and form a bit of a V in there. This will just prevent it from sliding out too easily go like that and then I'm going to do something different for the other end I want to put some dangling beads so center that and then here we're just going to do a little loop so let's remove that we're just going to do a little ring here and what we could do is we could maybe do it perpendicular so it's it's going to be sticking out a little bit it might make it easier for the beads to actually dangle and we're just going to cut this flush in there and we want to push that in so there's no sharp dangly end and just check it with your with your thumb and your finger and then make sure this is straight across and what you want to do is dangle some little beads. So let's go ahead and take our 20 gauge wire. Make sure when you cut the end, you could actually use head pins for this if you have some matching head pins. If not, just make your own. So just do a little tiny loop at the end. I'm going to do three of them. I think it'll be cute. And we can get our beads here and decide what kind of pattern you want. If you want some larger beads, these are, that's eight millimeter, and you could do a little gold spacer bead on there, and my favorite miracle bead, and another little longish oval bead. See how far that hangs down. Imagine, you know, how you want it to look. You might want to do another one in there. So we'll stick another one on there. And when it's as long as you want, I just cut it to half to three eighths of an inch. And then take your round pliers, back it up a little bit, turn that around, take your little uh, pin, loop it on, and then take your flat pliers and just close it up. So we're going to do three little dangles. So here it is with the three dangles. I think I prefer it with two, so I'm actually gonna remove one. And you don't want it too heavy either, so play around with it and see what you like best. So to attach it to your scarf, you're just going to put your ring in place and then take your pin 
and kind of push it in there a little bit. Make sure you file the end if it's too uh, sharp because you don't want it to get caught on things. So bunch in as much of the scarf as you need and then wiggle it back, back and forth so it's nice and centered. And there you'll have your little shawl pin with the dangling beads. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to join my Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, I'll link it up below. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wire wedding cake toppers and unique jewelry. I also send out a monthly newsletter, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook where I give a list of my supplies and materials and a few tips. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you the next time.